because whenever you cling around them, then you will, you might, you know, like cultivate the feelings afresh. Yeah, and feel tend like to the effect of the same things yes. from them. So you okay. can't get them, get them out of your life. Yes. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Very nice. Very, very nice. Thank you very much, Rachel. You are truly, you know, sensitizing us. You are educating so many people out there. For those that are just joining in, we are on Euroforum Uganda. And uh, with me in the, in the studio today is um, our celebrity gospel artist, Rachel Namoviru, all the way from Uganda. Um, Rachel, let's move on yeah. and talk about um, what could be uh some of the strategies yeah mm -hmm. strategies for building self-esteem and confidence mm -hmm. after experiencing you know rejection or a heartbreak is there anything that you would you know recommend or any advice you would give to people out there yeah something as no. strategies uh -huh. that could help them you know overcome that rejection or the heartbreak that they're going mm -hmm. through because usually when somebody is um, heartbroken, they tend to feel mm -hmm. a way uh, that they're less or they're not good enough or they're actually yeah, rejected. You know, mm -hmm. it's very deep and painful. How would you advise such a person to actually I know. Like, get back and move on with their life? In my confidence. Mm -hmm. Well, like with every other, the we kept talking about uh speak to someone now i i remember talking about god being the author of love yeah mm -hmm. yes for anything if you have an iphone and it it, it got issues Trust me, you will go either to man your book of the maker of that thing. Now, most people is God is like the last resort, but I'm telling you, like God will be the author of every good thing. Okay, the author of every good thing. Mm -hmm. So for me, what actually worked for me, because love does not, it's, it's not, it's not him, that person that broke my heart is not the maker of my life. It's not, my life is not made up of that person. Mm -hmm. Like I said, it's just another section of inadvisable to jump into another relationship. It is a moment for you to let go. And it's like you're starting a fresh page for your life. Sometimes we feel the heart breaks or we hang on to that because of the person. You can imagine if someone does that to you, it's the first cause you as a, like you were saying, now that's perfect for me. God knows yourself worth better than anyone else who doesn't actually understand you. Mm -hmm. So okay. get some time of it's very, very good to get a quiet time and through your life and say, okay, this has happened to me, but who am I? Yeah. Who am I? And what makes me who I am? Yes. Take time to rediscover who you are. Because for me, I kept thinking, okay, he, he's gone. I can't be with him. But Rachel, what, what makes your life? I have music to do. I have people to take care of. There are so many, someone makes you forget that this life is more important than just that part of life. So get back on board and see who you really are and what is life about. Okay. This is actually my purpose in life. Run that race. Make sure you fulfill goals in your life. Like for me, I love to sing and I keep thinking, Oh my God, I even have a career to do. Yeah. Because sometimes when you're heartbroken, you will lose interest of so many things. So in that in the moment of the heartbreak, everything else is gold, you know? Yes. That is gone. Get back, sit down, meditate, cry. Mm -hmm. accept, oh my God, I can't believe they've done this to me, but they have done it. But come on, what is life about? 
yeah apart from him what else makes up my life because yeah. that also lies in those things lies your fullness of life your your joy your happiness you know mm -hmm. get back on that i'm not saying that it's going to be just like that no but make a step away from what it is, is get back sit down you can get a paper okay apart from that what makes up my life Yes, there are these things I have to do. There are these goals I have to fulfill. There are these people yes. I have to take care of, and it's yes. also very important if you can, if you can find someone who's hurting to love and about. Trust yes. me, it can heal. Okay. Sometimes okay. I think people like, but give me give me the strategies that you mm. find someone else who needs love and give it to them. Yes. Or actually do something nice. I think I'm not saying someone. find another or another woman. No. Mm -hmm. if I, if yes. Go do care. Good. Do Give good love for someone else. Comfort. Comfort. And you will feel good about it. And trust okay. me, it, it, mm. it, it, is, it is godly, I'll say. But yes. or have a spiritual ground or foundation because God began everything you can never put god out of anything yes you okay. will run around everywhere but when you come back to god and say what god yes actually god made you god mostly knows that someone outfits you very well so god yes. can actually help you in the healing process just away from all that chaos come and yes. be quiet if yes. you can have the circle of people who are like spiritual if you have your bible those things will help push out the heart and fill in the comfort. Yeah. So in other words, you what know, you're trying to say, you simply have to forget about love. Move your nasa coach, take away you. You yeah. kind of drop it. Yes. Okay. So mobile phones that you back of gamba. Take a course of any else go out help someone okay um sorry our viewers our viewers out there uh Rachel's network is a bit yeah shady it's um it's a little unstable but we request you to bear with us uh because uh, at least thank god we can um hear we can hear her even though her, her, um, her picture is a bit you know yeah in motion, mm -hmm. but she's back now. Uh, Rachel is saying that mobile phones are what dog, um, but uh, some of the strategies out there are uh, people should actually uh, go back and um, you know give themselves to to God. They should trust in God and know that it's not the end of life. He always has the best for them. And then number two, people should invest in themselves. They yes. take them time by healing it, but no one ever sign you start, but who gets a call into every that particular person a heartbreak. Yes. And then Nechidala, yes. I think what people could do is um what? What? Yeah, Mugezeko call a good, like Rachel said, do good for other people because whenever you do something good for someone out there, it actually makes you feel good about yourself. So Avoka strategy means of kakos is a kayamba nyo, era nyo. Uh, one thing I want to say now, um, to all our viewers out there, but Nange, we are still talking about uh, today's uh, topic or our discussion here, which is that uh, how do we cope and move on after a heartbreak? Today, one on every show, I'm over you, uh, gospel artist, Wafe, uh, good day in Uganda. And uh, before we continue, in Jagala, good day, your cook Facebook, let's go and um, read some comments again. From our viewers, thank you very much, uh, guys, for the engagement. Thank you for the support and thanks for all your love. To you know, and Omami, Jonathan, Jonah, Agambi, and Tino, do women know that we grow up from different backgrounds with different lifestyles? Uh, that is what he yeah. asked. And then Butera Raymond says, thanks for the show. Raymond, a big ups to you. Raymond is a friend of mine. He's here in Finland as well. Raymond, thanks for supporting and watching the show. Uh, then uh, Jonathan, Jonah, as they made an agamba to women, you're killing mentally, physically, and emotionally. We tend to give mm. up on our lives just to see you happy. 
<laughs> Mami Jonathan, Bogabochi, uh, we thank you very much for giving up your <laughs> your whole to making you know your woman happy. Uh, uh men out there take a leave from Jonathan Jonah. Yes. And then Motea Raymond says that um, it's understandable. Uganda networks are like that. Thank you for understanding. Yes, network that for Uganda. It's really, mm -hmm. really unstable. And then Davi Mabo, Davi Mabo says external stressors such as network, such as work pressure or financial challenges can magnify existing issues. The fast paced nature mm -hmm. of modern life uh, leaves little time for quality time uh for quality time together potentially leading to feelings of neglect navigating these challenges requires couples to prioritize open communication build trust and align on fundamental values to sustain a healthy relationship thank you for the presentation uh devi mabo thank you very much for these uh, outstanding uh comments or oh, thank you very much for the outstanding submission he says mm -hmm. that quality that um communication yes open communication building trust and aligning fundamental values you know can lead to a healthy relationship so to all the viewers out there i hope more day from onomami davi mabo at wongeza kuwano kumagezi and he says that uh Abio, once we do those those particular things, we could actually have a much more healthier relationship. To our viewers out there, thank you very much for um, watching. Thanks for tuning in and thanks for staying uh, on Euroforum Uganda. I am your host once again, Samantha Elf, all the way from Finland. Uh, lastly, I would like us to talk about um, uh, what you think um, self-care does. Mm -hmm what uh what role does self-care play in the healing process after a heartbreak and what are some health what are some self-care practices you would recommend to someone out there does self-care play a role you know in helping out during a heartbreak and if so are there some practices self-care practices that you would recommend to someone out there Oh yeah, of course, self care yeah. does because yeah. for for the most part, maybe not for everyone, but yeah, uh, heartbreaks have a way. Like we we talked about of getting people to actually lose their self worth, feel depressed, yeah. feel not important, because most people feel I have mm. been left because I've not been enough. Yeah, and sometimes it's just not because sometimes you're not loved because you you're simply loved because you deserve to because no one is enough you know yeah. and uh maybe that you were actually too good for that muscle maybe you were that means good. someone's self-image or love has been damaged yeah let me tell you I, I think for me it's the opposite like the people who have actually committed i like like the gentleman said we are so different yeah. yeah, but for me, with time, we, we need to learn some things. Like, if it's the hard way, we need to learn some things. Uh, for me, someone who commits suicide because of someone, already someone showed that they do, <laughs> they could not actually deserve you already. Yes. You would rather kill yourself for someone who gave you everything, but you gave the worst. You know, because then yeah. they deserved it. But someone who walked away from you, they already showed that they did not see the importance. So that is is very good to go, you know. Yeah. But of course, we are just not the same. So self-care, it's because you're, you're getting back on board and mm. knowing that, no, I'm worth it. Actually, that is not the right thing. So self-care is very important because it will, it will give you your self-worth, your confidence again so you revive because most people will lose interest in that if people used to go out they'll lock themselves in the house like everything else for some reason will go on a standstill because of that so self-care speak mm -hmm. to yourself meditate mm -hmm. uh, it will help you feel your 
importance again. And that will get you back with life. And even there, you actually true love that deserves you. So self-care is very important because it revives a lot of things in your life. Mm -hmm. of which your life depends on yes yeah so i would really for me this is what i did you know mm -hmm. i went back into uh the ministry because i like i told you serving others mm -hmm. is something lacking trust me that will you so I would go out care for like for me particularly I have a, an organization it's called Judges. I will go to this village and try to look for helpless, vulnerable, old people, yeah. and one provide if they need like a sugar. If every pain of mine, I will feel like I'm fulfilled. So yeah. that self care then you will if you, you love because even exercise exercises is something that helps your brain release stress yeah yeah go out and have fun with your friends go mm -hmm. be part of a, a, a church ministry because then you're serving someone else go love people if you enjoy music if you enjoy traveling mm -hmm. if you've gone through all steps with we talked about and you're in this other moment of self-care yeah. give into yourself just give in because you that is loving yourself yes you deserve as it as we said if you're lacking mm. it's very hard for you to give love if you're also lack, lacking it so when you give it to yourself yes trust me you will people that are either caring for people join a, a, a choir or something okay what is your purpose like those things that that person found you do yeah okay okay you know what? Yes. Trust me, it will become much better each day. Thank you very much, Rachel, for that um wonderful submission. I yeah, would have said I'll, it I'll listen to music, I would go swimming, yeah. I'll, 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 I, all those things that you feel you love to do because all that is self-care for you. Yes. Okay. Or you go to the gym and make sure okay. I want to see my myself look this way. Yes. All that is love. Okay. All that is yeah. self love. Okay, you've heard it. You've heard it from uh from the horse's mouth. Thank you very much, Rachel, yeah. for that wonderful submission. Um, Rachel says yeah. that self care plays a very very huge role in um helping you through the healing process of uh. Uh, of heartbreak. Thank you heart very much. Said. I appreciate. Sorry about the network. Yes, it's, it's okay. Like Uganda. Yes, it's okay. It's very understandable. And Rachel says that uh, try to engage yourself in things that you love to do. Things like, uh, you know, taking care of yourself in a sense that you could go to the gym, you could go do your nails if the nails make you feel good about yourself. You could go out with your it's girlfriends. Lovely. You could go have a good meal. You could um, you could help other people, like she does help uh, a group of uh, old old uh, old people. She does that, and it gives her that uh, self satisfaction. So yes, there's so many other things that we could do as uh, human beings to actually mm -hmm. uh, take us through uh, the painful moments of uh, heartbreak. But like we said, we are talking about how to move, how to cope and then move on after a heartbreak. We clearly know that um, each and everyone has gone through one and uh, or, or maybe not everyone, but at least majority. <laughs> I would imagine or I would suppose. But yes, um, there you heard it. 
And now I'm just going to go to our last point of discussion. Earlier I said um, that was our last, but actually I want us to go with this as our last one. Uh, Rachel, kindly give um, someone out there, what advice would you give to someone who is struggling to let go of a past relationship and move forward with their life? What advice would you I give know. to a person yeah, struggling to let go of that past relationship? Like I told you, we get so uh, attached to our exes and it's really hard for us to you know, move on. So how could you help such a person out there to actually move forward with their life? I know now this is simply like an emotion because yeah. now like anyone would hear all that. But then feel still attached. I will say this again. It's like knowing that uh, this path is very hard, but in every way, it's what you have to take. Yeah. And like we said, it's not going to be easy. And it's not not going to be like at the top of the finger and then that will go away. Time is needed to give to that other person. You need time off. Yeah. You are not, we are not going to push people into adjusting because yeah they've simply listened to this is what you have to do I know it's that hard but time enough is time to understand that this is not what I deserve yeah it takes you back to understanding what is my worth and I will with time help it it has been created with time so having a self meditation first of all understanding these points Okay, I can't get over him, but is he going where I'm going? Mm. Am I getting what I am supposed to get? If the yeah. answer is no, mm. accept it, heart, yes, and start slowly on the self love. Yeah. I'm he does not deserve me. My life is far more worth than this relationship. Who mm. am I? Where am I going? Because as long as those questions, that person will not be able to answer them to work with you, then you're, you're hanging on to an endless, I don't know, like a journey that is ending nowhere. Once you understand yeah. that what you're looking for, you're not getting, it is the first step to start your healing simply get time off for you to heal that is where you'll start from okay yes yes uh, and on that note Rachel there's a question here now on Facebook uh that's coming from Butera Raymond uh mm -hmm. Raymond is asking that after a breakup does one need time to heal before committing again that is very true because that what's making you run to commit to someone else is you want to cover up the pain. You simply don't want to accept that there is a gap. It's like you feel like this can't happen to me. How can yeah. this happen? To me? But it happens to human beings. We actually call that rebound love. People that are going through heartbreaks tend to go for rebound love. They find somebody that they assume or believe or, or or think they love and uh just go there so that they 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 fulfill or occupy that void or the space that they're feeling but it's actually not love yeah it's not wise to do because the, the other thing you're going to do is you're going to use that person you're actually exactly. going to hurt another person. yes that's you true. know Thing you're running with right now in your heart is heart and pain and that's the only thing you're going to give someone else so self-love is very important because it's going to rebuild and you're going to heal that wound yeah. and give yourself love so that you can be able to go and give love because when we go to into a relationship we go not for the sake of receiving but to give someone else love for someone yeah. to feel like oh my god i'm loved so if you've just been heartbroken what mm -hmm. are you running give someone you're running to give someone else 
demands to fill that void. So you're actually yes. running at some other person. To get another heartbreak again, yes. how to have a moment of yourself alone. You should, I think in life, we should even enjoy our own space. It's not that every time someone, for you to be happy, someone should be, your happiness yes. depends on someone else. No, 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 no. Yes. Enjoy your time alone. Yes. Fill up with love. Know yes. who you are yourself with importance and love and what yes yes trust me when you go out there you're going to give that same love don't run yeah after heartbreak, you're going to hurt someone hurt there, it hurt. Is. there it is mutually day mutually day for those of you that did not know people that get into other relationships immediately after heartbreaks do not actually love you the person they are coming for but are simply, you know, filling the void, filling the space that that person actually left when they threw them out. So be very careful. Do not play the part of the rebound love. You know, you're simply being used, like Preacher said. So watch out, take care. And before you get into another relationship, always try to heal, heal fast. And the healing process takes time. The healing process involves quite a lot. It involves um, self-care, like Rachel said. It involves knowing who you are. It involves knowing your purpose in life. It involves knowing what you want as an individual. And once you actually get to know all that, you will find a better person and you will be able to give that person uh, much better love than you were um, given before because you have actually identified who you are. Uh, to all our viewers out there, we are coming to the end of our show tonight or this evening or this morning, uh, based on wherever you're watching from. I cannot um, appreciate or extend my gratitude enough to Rachel. Rachel, thank you very much for sparing your time off your busy schedule to come and um, share with us, to come and educate us, to come and inform us or actually just, you know, come and vibe with me, your friend. I was kind of missing you and now I had you all to myself. Rachel, mm -hmm. I'm more than delighted to have you. But before we give our final remarks, yeah, uh, I just want to inform the viewers out there. Guys, inform your friends. Call a friend to call a friend to call another friend to come because mm -hmm. now is the time that I'm going to request my one and only Rachel to actually do something for us. She's going to give us capella. She's going to sing for us a song. Mm -hmm. And then after she does that, we'll give you um, our closing remarks and we'll call that a day. But before she does that, I just want to remind you all that uh, next week, uh, 10th of March is going to be my birthday. So please uh, come oh, out there, birthday. send me birthday. birthday wishes, send me uh, mobile money, you can <laughs> send me gifts, you can send me spread love, oh, share me. love, because um, <laughs> God is love and he told us to love our neighbors just like we love ourselves. So to Rachel, the floor is all yours. Blow me away. My dear, thank you so much. I loved every moment. Actually, the time just wasn't enough with this topic. My God, yeah. I am. Yeah, I can tomorrow. Uh, and it I have probably loved promise our part. viewers that there'll be a part two. Yeah, please, <laughs> yes. a part three, a part four, you <laughs> know, okay. the episode. We'll, we'll do a part. series, yeah, a series, yes. <laughs> And by the way, because we cannot exhaust everything, I love it when we share. Yeah. Yeah. Like we all learn from each other. This was my personal experience and it really worked for me. Yeah. yeah so it was very I'm happy. I'm, I'm glad. I loved every bit. Uh, thank you so much for giving me this opportunity as well. And uh, I will say this uh, I have learned with life to actually grow and depend on God. I don't know. It may sound, sometimes some things sound like, oh my God, people can be too spiritual. But you know, life will teach you with experience. And I have learned to know that this life that we have has an author of it. So every step of life, despite what it looks like, you can never bring the author out of those things and then you will feel safe. Each one in this life, you must have that spiritual ground that you stand on because that's what it is like. Yes. That's what it is. It, it is driven by that, you know? Yeah. So then there's the other.
in my life. It is Psalms 121. It says that I will lift up my eyes unto the hills. From where does my help come from? Over and call account to over chinene, over business, over relationship, over planning, anything I'm planning to do. Trust yeah. me, I will say you will be my help because life is, is a mystery. It's tricky. Like you can never know. Like Omuta Sobolo Kufelanga. Like Wakuli Wano. So I always say, God, I will never be too smart for you. But yeah. every bit of my life, it doesn't matter how someone thinks, oh my God, that's too. Do you even have to tell God that no, I acknowledge every little bit? Yes. So I'll do this call that my help. Okay. Next okay. time I will put for you like music. It will keep growing better, you know. So yeah. just keep yeah. Uh, so the song says, and I will lift up my eyes to the hills from whence cometh my help. My help cometh from the Lord, the Lord. You see, he said, he will not suffer my foot, my foot to be moved. He's the Lord that keepeth me. He will not slumber, no sleep. For the Lord is my keeper, the Lord is my shed upon my right hand, upon my right hand. For the sun shall not smite me by day, nor the moon by night, for he will preserve my soul even forevermore. Whoa, my help, my help, oh. <laughs> the Lord of my help, for me, my help, my help. All of my help, it comes from the Lord. Look how I'm from God. <laughs> Wow, wow, wow. Guys, Rachel has a very beautiful voice. You sounded like a bird. You are actually a songbird. Yeah. That is so so sweet. I wish you could you could keep singing, you know. The whole time. I will. I will. Why did we talk this whole time? You should have just been singing and singing. We just singing. stayed with some other parts, yeah. can so. Okay. Yes, that's true. We we have yeah we have uh, a lot of episodes. Bambi Olina, beautiful voice. Um, and on that Jagala Gamba, chidi 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 chiba dewe chidi 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 chidi. Thank you. Really okay. Yeah, that was very very beautiful. Thank you very much. Um, and um, yeah, before we go off, I just want you to send any shout out remarks. Or any greetings or, you know, a word to the people out there. I just want to appreciate you people. Thank you for keep the for keeping the forum going. Uh, and uh, the fact that you give in time to listen, I th that that shows uh, love, that shows, shows support and actually also shows self-care for yourself. Because no one will give in their time to listen to something unless there is something they care about, either their heart or their mind. I appreciate you so much. I'll just uh, ask you, please, 
keep supporting uh, my music on the YouTube. Yeah, sometimes I'm a bit silent, but trust me, I'm on this thing until I am eight years of age. So please go ahead, subscribe, keep supporting, uh, and keep sharing love. And always don't forget to kind of tune in in here. Yes. Bless you in everything that you're doing. Trust God. Even when it seems very hard, trust me. Trust God. Yes. Yeah. Is the way, the truth, and the light? Is that what, what the Bible says? Right. Yes. Okay. Okay. Uh, Rachel, there's a comment here. Yeah, my, page, my page is uh, Rachel Namuviru Music on the YouTube. Uh, on, on all like platforms of music, Spotify, iTunes. My music is there. Support me because when you go and Uh, your volume is off again, Rachel. We can hear you. Your volume. Do you hear the me now? The sound went off. Now we can. Yeah, now I can hear you. Uh, I was just telling people like you, my my social media handles. I uh, use Rachel Nambiru Music, uh, but mostly on the YouTube and all other music platforms, Spotify, iTunes. Uh, my music is there, please. Yeah. You can go ahead and, and click in, listen, support me, you know. And I'll be grateful. Okay. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Uh, for all our listeners or viewers out there, you heard it. Uh, she's Rachel Namuru, a very, very, you know, sweet, uh, God-loving and very down to earth. Uh, she is a celebrity for those of you that know her, but she is this very, very, you know, sweet and natural. I really love that about her. Uh, like she said, her um, handle is Rachel Namuru Music. Yeah, is that right? Yeah, yeah. Yes. And uh, she's she's on Twitter. She's on um, uh, she's on Twitter. She's on Facebook, YouTube, and okay. Instagram as well. So please, uh, let's spread some love, support a fellow Ugandan, and uh, let's go and uh, yeah, buy her music. I mean, why not? Why should we listen to Nigerian music? Why should we listen to the Bana Boys and all that if we have our own song band right here? Rachel Ambru, I'm more than, you know, more than grateful. Thank you very much for coming here. Mm -hmm. To all our viewers out there on Facebook, thank you very much for tuning in. Thank you for watching. Thanks for sharing with us. And um, I just want to say that uh, thanks for sticking with us on Euroforum Uganda. Uh, I am Samantha L, once again, um, right here in Finland. And I'm very, very glad to have been a host today. Until next time. Uh, we love you all. Be blessed and may God bless you all. To all my people out there, my family, my friends, and to everyone that loves me, remember 10th of March. It's going to be my big day. Big up. Bye for now. We love you. Bye. Before we go, Bye. I forgot. <laughs> I forgot. Sorry. I just wanted to to wish, you know, to thank our producer, my fellow teammates here on Eurofram Uganda, uh, the man behind the wheels right now, uh, Mwami Moses Mogisha. Moses, we do appreciate you and thank you for keeping Eurofram Uganda going. Uh, my fellow co-hosts, um, Jareen Nasali, uh, Smoggy in uh, Copenhagen and uh, who else? We have um, our man, Umuhumuza, yeah, Umuhumuza in Uganda. And then also the lady um, in Uganda that uh, takes on um, the news in Uganda, Agata, what is it called? Okay, yes, but something like that, guys. Yeah, we love you all and uh, thank you for keeping it tuned from Uganda. Until next time, bye for now. Cheers.